Hello, my name is Crystal Hernandez, and welcome to the new segment of Rams Puzzle Piece, where we talk about organizations on campus and how you fit the puzzle at Texas Wesleyan. For today's segment, we will be focusing on the Student Government Association here on campus. The spokesperson for SGA is Bella Daya. Welcome. Thank Hi. you for being here. Thank you for having me. So, would you like to start off introducing yourself and your role in SGA? Of course. So, my name is Belange Ndaya, and I'm international representative at SGA. So, my role is to bridge the gap between um, international um, programs, office, and students, and also between students um, and international students and local students. So, I kind of like give them a voice. Now, before we start answering and asking questions, would you like to mention the, or I would like to mention the purpose of this segment, mm -hmm. especially the purpose of how students don't know that there are organizations here on campus and mm -hmm. are not really familiar, mm -hmm. especially new students. They don't mm -hmm. know where to go. Mm -hmm. So thinking of it as a puzzle piece, mm -hmm. and imagine you were doing a puzzle piece and you were missing a piece of that puzzle. Mm -hmm. How would that make you feel? I'd feel sad. I'd feel disappointed. I'd feel under the weather. I'd feel blue. I'd feel frustrated. <laughs> so that's, that's personally how I'd feel. So the way I like to think of it is that organizations are like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have bits and parts of the campus, mm -hmm. and you have to put them all together in order to get the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. So not only are puzzles something to get the whole idea out, mm -hmm. but it's also something to build skill and mm -hmm. your cognitive thinking mm -hmm. so that way you can better your thinking methods. Mm. So, for this segment, I would like you to play a puzzle while we talk and interview about SGA. Of course. So, throughout this entire interview, you will be trying to solve this Rubik's Cube. Mm -hmm. If you solve it by the end of our segment, then you win a prize. Ooh. And if you don't solve it, well, that's okay. You'll, you'll still go with a walk away prize right. either way. So, are you ready? I am ready. All right. All right, fantastic. Now, as I mentioned before, students mm -hmm. aren't really familiar with the campus. Mm -hmm. So first, can you tell me where you can find the SGA meetings and the one times? Um, OK, so we have our SGA meetings at the Student Leadership Chambers. Um, that is at the Martin um, Center, second floor at the Student Leadership Chambers, every Friday from 9.30 to 10.30. So we allow for a board, a, a panel, of students to come and see how the meetings are run and everything. Um, we, you can also find SGA on our Instagram page, um, SGA, Texas, SGA, you're probably going to see us there. Um, also on Ramp Space, you're also going to find SGA there. And most of us walk around with um, stickers, ask me SGA, so <laughs> yeah. Now, can you tell me what your organization does? So um, we make things happen. If I can just summarize, we make things happen. We are the voice of the students, the voice of the voiceless. Um, I know a lot of students on campus, they don't know where to go when they have a problem or sometimes they feel intimidated to speak to like somebody who's older than them or maybe a professor or a staff member, but then it's easier for them to speak to a student. So if, you, if like SGA, we are students that represent other students, so they can come to us and we can go to them. And um, like I said before, we are the voice of the voiceless. So if you wanna see things happen on campus, you voice your opinion. So, so having a, uh, each student be a representative of other students mm -hmm. out of all Texas Wesleyan, do you mm -hmm. think that would be something that would be considered unique uh, for your organization compared to all other organizations here on campus? Oh yes, it is unique because our organization, that, that makes our organization inclusive to everybody. You know, So there are organizations that are um, specifically for certain groups of people, like everybody's welcome, but the name of the organization shows that it's for a specific group of people. But Student Government Association is for the students. So we have different representatives over there for different students. Now, how many members are there in this organization? Um, about 20 or 19, roughly, or, um, representatives. Okay, so... For each representative, is it like each individual, like one person takes care of like the biology and the other person like, I don't know, other departments such as arts? Is it something like mm -hmm. that? Oh yes, we have different representatives. We have like arts um, and I think arts and letters representative. Mm -hmm. We have, um, for biology, we have science. 
the one who represents the School of Science. We have business representative. We have for the business students. We have a representative uh, like me. I'm international representative for international students. We have resident life representative. We have so many representatives, and we besides from, apart from representatives, we have um, treasurer, chief justice, president, vice president so on and so forth. So pretty much like a board of students. A board of <laughs> students, yes. So why do you believe that sh students should join SGA? I'm trying to finish this puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Why do I believe that they should? Yeah, why do you believe that students should be interested in SGA mm -hmm. or at least be a part of it? Um, apart from wanting to help students, um, I feel like that should be like your priority. Like if you want to see things happen, you need to put yourself out there. But apart from that, um, you never know where life can take you. You never know where you can go. And school is, I feel like Texas Wesley University is a good university because it helps students um, develop their skills. And what better way to develop your skills than to like join SGA. Like you said about the puzzle piece, it helps you um, develop your cognitive thinking. So just like SGA, it helps you to voice your opinion or give a matter or present, uh, present bills um, in a professional way, you know, presenting ideas, knowing how to speak to people, how to not speak to people, how to be inclusive to everybody else, how to think. And you also get to know about people's different backgrounds, what people like and don't like. So that's a good reason why students should join SGA. Um, another good reason that I did mention is to see change. So I, I always tell people, or at least the past two weeks I've been telling people, because I've been handing out surveys, I've been telling them that you cannot complain if you do not voice your opinion. So if you feel like people in the SGA are not doing anything, come and join the SGA, you know, so yeah. Yeah, because the best way to actually make change for students mm -hmm. and wanting, wanting them to see mm -hmm. anything that they like, mm -hmm. they have to voice their opinion You first. have to voice your opinion, yeah. All right, we're going to take a quick break, so stay tuned. Can we talk? Can we talk? Can we talk? Mental illness affects all types of families in all kinds of ways. But three simple words can make all the difference. Can we talk? Starting the conversation is the first step to getting help. Learn more at samhsa.gov families or call 1-800-662-HELP for free and confidential treatment referral. And we're back here on Ram's Puzzle Piece with SGA International Representative Bella. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I'm still trying to figure this puzzle piece out. No, I mean, before we resume, let's see what you have so far. Like, Okay, so what I have so far is the pink side. And like, um, I don't know why I just decided to focus on one thing. <laughs> and every time I focus on one thing, everything else gets scribbled up. And I'm like, I have no idea what I'm going to do. So. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, we're in the halfway mark, so I mean, you're making progress yeah. at least. Yeah. Now, Bella, mm -hmm. we have covered a bit about what SGA is about. Mm -hmm. So let's go in and see what are the benefits for students when they join SGA. So what are some of the skills that students can learn or actually uh, participate in once they join SGA? Okay, once you join SGA, um, besides from skills, you, you need to, you learn to have a volunteering heart. You know, as SGA, you can come in there and have like a heart of a rock solid heart. But when you join SGA, because you're part of SGA, you need to show up. You know, you cannot represent students and stay and do nothing. You cannot represent students just because you think you're pretty or you're lead of basketball or like your characteristics or whatever. You need to actually have the heart of students. You need to want to see things change. And also when you join SGA, I can advise people, when you join SGA, join it also for the benefit of your tomorrow. You know, think, tomorrow if I want to start a company, if I want to pitch an idea, and I don't know how to pitch ideas to SGA, how would I know how to pitch ideas to the big company? So we start little and we grow. That's like the skills that you learn. You know how to communicate. You learn how to forgive. Mm -hmm. That's so important. You learn how to forgive. Um, like everybody will tell you in every work organization, there's always going to be beef. People are always going to fight. But uh, when you get into SGA, you're going to learn how to forgive people, how to move forward, how to, um, yeah, just those little, little tiny skills that people take for granted. You also learn that in SGA. So, yeah. Now, I know you mentioned uh, having a volunteering heart. Yeah. When you uh, enter SGA, so now when you volunteer, is it just primarily just Texas Wesleyan that you volunteer in? Or are there anything outside of Texas Wesleyan, like trips or volunteer services 
mm -hmm. outside of Texas Wesleyan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so part of SGA's um, job is to create, um, not just create events, okay, create events, let me put it like that. We can create events. So um, speaking of outside of school, that is if we presented a bill of like, um, there's a bill that is still in progress, but it's about giving, you know, giving outside of school. So SGA um, helps you to, um, helps students get involved and give outside of school, you know. Mm -hmm. So th those are like the things that we try to um, help students do. But students who just don't feel comfortable going outside, they can start small in our school grounds and everything. Yeah, it benefits them, and they mm -hmm. get to the, get the volunteering opportunity that yeah, they need. Yeah, they do. So, some students are concerned about financial state. Mm -hmm. So, are there any additional fees when you join SGA? Oh, there's no zero. It's free. <laughs> it's free in South Africa. I think my South African international students would love it when I say this. Free in uh, in one of the South African languages is called mahala. So that's what free is. So it's mahala. It's free. So it costs you nothing except for your time. <laughs> of course. Yeah, time is something. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But it's free. And speaking of time, is it flexible hours when you join SGA? I know there's some students that are more involved in sports, mm -hmm. more scheduled in mm -hmm. their classes, and find it difficult to accommodate their time mm -hmm. to dedicate themselves to an organization. So mm -hmm. are the hours flexible when you join SGA, mm -hmm. or how does that look? It's flexible, yeah. The, hour, the hours are flexible, because um, usually when I joined SGA, they asked me for my um, school, um, my class schedule, so that they know which day everybody's free. Mm -hmm. And that's how we came up with the Friday every 9.30 to 10.30. So probably like next semester is gonna, might be different. Maybe it might be on Thursdays from in the morning or Thursdays in the afternoons, just depending on people's schedule. So it's pretty flexible and we meet once a week, you know, or unless we have an event and then we have to meet up or volunteer or help out or whatever. But we generally meet once a week. And you mentioned something about, let's say you're doing athletics or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are an athletic um, rep representative, you present the people who are athletes and all that, you going and doing your athletic stuff you still you still kind of still working because you're like on the lookout on what can i bring to sga to help um people like what you guys want to see change what do you want to see in the athletic department what events do you guys want to see like things like that so yeah so what are some of requirements or additional information that students must know before they join sga requirements okay so each representative has different requirements um you need a good gpa i think it's 2.5 or 2 i'm not really sure but you need a good GPA. Um, another requirement is that you need to stick to the conduct of the school, student conduct. I think that's what they call it, student conduct. Like yeah, student the way you behave yeah. in class. Um, no cheating, no this, no that, you know, things like that. Um, basic stuff. Um, another thing is, okay, things like pre being president, being vice president, being chief justice, those ones have like other requirements. Those ones have requirements of you need a year worth of experience in SGA before you can apply for those or so on and so forth. But like the, besides those ones, mm -hmm. the other positions, you just need a good GPA, um, run for it, get elected, and then you're part of SGA. All right, well, I mean, it doesn't sound too difficult, but it's not. It's not? It isn't, it's not like people from, feel very intimidated. They're like, oh my gosh, SGA dance. It's, <laughs> it's not difficult. Like I went in there um, just having the heart of helping international students because I've been through so much as an international student and I really wanted to help. So um, I went in there just more, just with the mindset of helping and I just learned so many things about like bills and things and I'm like, I didn't even know that's what I was going to learn. But yeah, it's not hard. It's very simple. All right, well, we will be right back with Ram's puzzle piece after this break. What if one day you went to your secret hiding place and instead of what you came for, you found this? What would you do? The truth is, all drug use comes with risk. Before drugs take their toll on you and your family, know that there is help. You can quit. If you or someone you love is struggling with drug use, call 1-800-662-HELP for 24-hour free and confidential information and treatment referral, or go to samhsa.gov slash know the risks. And welcome back to Ram's Puzzle Piece with our spokesperson, Bella. Mm -hmm. Now, we're starting to reach the end of our session. Mm -hmm. Now, can you show us the progress of your puzzle so far? Uh, I think I messed it up. I don't know, but now I'm with the greens. I, I gave up on the pink. <laughs> you know, in life sometimes you're like, okay, I can't do this. Let me try something else. So this is me giving up on the pinks. I'm with the greens and the yellows now. So 
I hope I hope I can finish this by the end of the segment. Well, I only have a few more questions for you before we reach the end of our segment. So All right. Let's get to it. Now, let's get to know your experience with SGA. Mm -hmm. So can you first tell me, how long have you been in SGA? How long? Uh, semester. A semester? <laughs> no, no, no. I, not as an uh, academic year. Does that make sense? Um, a school year? Oh, yeah, academic year. Yeah. From so last like, August to... So August of 2021 yes. to now, currently. Mm -hmm. Yes. So almost a year now. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the memories or moments that you tend to recognize the most? The most? Oh, I have one special memory. Like last August, so I was not like living on campus last August, but like one of the SGA members, like I contacted one of them, and um, so it was my first time in the United States to start with. So I just contacted her, and then I asked her, and I was like, hey, do you mind, like, is there anybody in the SGA who can, like, pick me up for the meetings, you know? Because I didn't have a ride on Fridays, you know? Nobody was willing to give me a ride. And I didn't have class or anything on Fridays, so. And she's like, sure. And then she reached out on one, one of her SGA members, and then everybody was just trying to figure out how did they pick up Bella, mm -hmm. you know? And then this one person reached out to me, and then they're like, oh, I can pick you up. And I'm thinking she lives five minutes away from me. But no, she lives on campus. So she woke up one hour earlier to come and pick you up, pick me up, drop me back to SGA. Uh, I'm not dropping back, what? <laughs> Come with me to SGA, and then after SGA, she dropped me back home. So I lived 20 minutes away from the school. So um, every time, and she did not ask, ask me for gas money, zero. And she never complained, not a day. You know, she never complained, not a day. And she never reminded me of that ever. Even though, like, everything happened, she didn't remind me of it. And also her car broke down in the oh. process, and she was not mad at me about it. And I felt so bad. I'm like, it's because of me. And she was like, it's okay. No, it's not because of you. So that was, like, one of the greatest memories of SGA. So would you consider that an obstacle during your time in SGA? Or what obstacles have you faced while you were in SGA? Oh, like, uh, consider, like, um, not being able to make it? That could be an obstacle, but... If there are others, I mean, mm -hmm. is there any other? Um, besides that, that was kind of, it was kind of an obstacle, but kind of not of an obstacle because, mm -hmm. like, if you're an SGA, you're supposed to treat everybody as family, mm -hmm. you know, not as your enemy, not as anything. It's always supposed to be, like, family. You're supposed to have that family mindset at SGA, you know. It's like, even if this person is giving me a hard time, you know, with your sister, you cannot get rid of your sister. She's still your sister, you know. So um, that is... Something, but another obstacle that we, people um, we could you could get, you could have, you have to get over mm -hmm. at S in SGA is um, it's really personal obstacles like if you have personal problems like um, with your character mm -hmm. with your character per se personal problems with your character per se um, let's say you have anger issues or this and that so you just have to learn how to like speak to people mm -hmm. so on and so forth that could be an obstacle. And yeah, but because we don't meet all the time, so I don't think there are any major obstacles. Mm -hmm. And now for my final question, mm -hmm. and what I recommend for this, it is kind of like a little promotion. So what would you, how would you pitch it to someone in order to join SGA? How would you pitch it? To join SGA? Mm -hmm. Well, in order for you to join SGA, I don't know, I had, I've had a tabling event for two weeks. I think I mentioned this is the second time I'm talking about this. I called yeah. it, it was called the Ramley Voice Survey. And the best way I always pitch it to people is you cannot complain if you do not voice your opinion. If you don't do anything about it, don't complain. So that should be, that should be a motivation for you to join SGA. If you want to see things change, come and join SGA. If you want to do stuff, come and join SGA. If you have great ideas, come and join SGA. If you think that SGA members are not doing their job, come and join SGA. You know, so, yeah. All right, well, we reached the end of our segment, and let's see the progress of your puzzle. <laughs> Ooh, I'm left with three yellow. <laughs> three missing pieces, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm kind of proud of myself. Yeah. Well, I mean, you did solve one side of it, the yellow yeah, side. A part, sort yeah. of. Uh, sort kind of. of. Yeah, yeah. Sort of, kind of. Sort of, kind of. So, yeah. I mean, either way, you didn't really solve it. But, like I said, you don't just walk away without a prize. Mm -hmm. So, I believe I have yeah. my little box of prizes here. So. Oh, thank you. Easter eggs. Yep. Just Yo, a tech for Easter. All right. I hope you all have a good Easter, though. All of it? Yeah, just like one or two things. <laughs> I was gonna take the whole box. <laughs> All right, I'll take, I'll take the egg and I'll take these. All right. 
Right. Well, we've reached the end of our segment. So, Bella, thank you so much for joining us. And I am really thankful that you shared a lot about SGA. And mm -hmm. then hopefully people will join you afterwards. Mm -hmm. So, we reached the end of our segment. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything that you would like to promote? I know that there's SGA elections coming up. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm just I'm rerunning for international representative because I believe my job is not done as international representative. So I want you all to go vote. Um, people are campaigning right now. And yeah. when you vote, be mindful. Learn about the person. Don't just vote to vote. Learn about them. Learn about what they can do for you on campus. Get to know their hearts. Get to know their motives. Pray if you have to. Or if you believe in prayer, pray. Whatever you want to do, do it. But um, you vote. be very mindful when you vote for the people in the SGA. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you again so much, Bella. And thank you, everyone, for tuning in to our segment of Rams Puzzle Piece. Don't forget to follow us on social media on Facebook at The Rambler, on YouTube at The TWU Rambler, and our Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at The Rambler TWU. My name is Crystal Hernandez, and this is Rambler TV. Rambler TV.